Make sure you go to ashkicking.com and cop the new DBN scented candle promoted for the War vs. Kovalev rematch. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Come on, man. They worried about Tink fighting Lomachenko. He's only 22 years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This kid just won the title, came back, defended it against his mandatory, and he ain't ducking nobody. You got to build the fight. Yeah, yeah. Let, let him fight two more people or something. He ain't get the Lomachenko fight. He ain't ducking him. You got you to gotta make money. It makes sense. It ain't like he's Golovkin where he in his 30s. Because when Ward was calling him out, Golovkin was in his come on, 30s. Come on, man. Tank, 22 years old. Yeah. Just got the title this year. Won it convincingly. Dominant form. Knockout fashion. He didn't win it a vacant title. He took it from the champion who had defended it numerous times. Was avoided at 135. Pedraza, Southpaw, tall, Puerto Rican. Got a lot of heart. Throw a lot of punches. Got knocked out by Tank. Then he went across the pond, as they say, to the UK and fought. He's mandatory. Another young, undefeated fighter, fringy, switch up, right hand, lefty, confidence, he wanted to win, in his backyard, had everything going for him, knocked him out in three. Man, give these dudes that respect, man, let these kids their time, man, and it's all their time now, but fights like Lomachico, let them build up. Say he fight right now, Lomachico beat him for eight rounds straight, out box, then Tank just catch him, boom, knock him clean out. Which is, that happen, which is very, very possible, right? Yeah. And they say, oh yeah, he beat him, uh, but what's next? Yeah. And what they'll do, and they won't be no much money behind it. Yeah. Not only is it a sport, I understand, but it's a business too. Let the fight build, man. Come on, they, you gotta use your mind, man. Put the politics and the biases aside, just let the fight build by itself. Yeah. Omichi gonna know what's up, you know, take a good competitor, he be writing them on Twitter, congratulating them on his win and everything. So, you know, ain't nobody ducking nobody. Just give these kids their respect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These great fighters. And they doing it before they prime. They still, Tank 22, man. He's still basically in uh like boxing time, a baby, kind of. You know, young. He ain't even got his full potential power yet. His back ain't done growing. His calves ain't done expanding. He gonna start hitting harder. He gonna get smarter. Boxing IQ gonna go through the roof. Power gonna go through the roof. And these guys don't understand that. They just like with Earl. Now they already saying, oh, Kel Brook was a damaged fighter. Woody Wan, that I was already messed up. No, it was the other eye. Yeah, yeah. They can't even Stop use that right there. Kel said he was in the best shape he ever was in his life. He was feeling good. He was supposed to make Earl taste chocolate brownies. Yeah, he tastes chocolate brownies. I did not I think stopped him. And he was on the plane home eating the chocolate brownies, throwing shade. Shining on him, yeah. He got from the grocery store, that's it. He didn't give him nothing he couldn't he couldn't weather the storm with. Everything he did, Earl had an answer for it. He looked like a true champion, he took the belt from a champion, and he brought it back to the United States, and that's what he's supposed to do. And they need to give him his credit. You know what I'm saying? It's just so sad in the society we live in, with all the politics and boxing, how they do them. Because Earl Spence, man, he a special fighter. And that, that's just that, man. He, he did a hell of a job. Yeah, well, he's gonna keep winning regardless of, you know, how he perceived, you know, so. Yeah, man, I'm glad you went over there, Dante, and showed him love, man. A lot of people wasn't even, you know what I'm saying, didn't even have him winning, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people just go on everybody page on YouTube. They was giving 10 reasons why Earl Spence loses to Kell Brook yeah, and yeah. this, that, and the third. He has no experience. You went over there, paid your money, went over there, chopped it up with him, showed him love, gave him good, 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 good press. Put him out there from Instagram to YouTube, everything on the internet. And that, 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 was, that, that was some real that was some real stuff, man. Good looking, man. Good looking. Yeah. And you know, I always talk about Earl. Like, I know you went out there, you talk, that's my boy. I had talked to him the, the morning before the weigh in. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted, I wrote him something. I just want to tell him, you know what I'm saying? I, man, I respect him and I know he's a champ. And he, and he, he wrote me back and he, and he talked and he said, hey, he appreciated it. And that was some real stuff. And he's going to take care of business. And he did. And uh, that's that.